This YCN segment is brought to you by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer. Welcome back. We're here at the Coach House Restaurant in New London Inn in New London. Joining me now is the executive chef here, Josh Duda. Good afternoon. How Thanks are you? Thanks for joining us. Very nice You're to welcome. see you. Um, so tell us a little bit about your history. You're fairly new here to the Inn. I'm fairly new here to the Inn, but I come here with a large history. I, uh, I, I grew up in Vermont. Mm -hmm. um, I've spent about 20 years or so cooking. Um, after graduating from Hartford High School, I spent a couple of years in the business and I ended up attending New England Culinary Institute, ah. um, their Essex Junction campus, which is no longer. But oh, yeah, that's too bad. They could yeah. use one up there in that part of the world. I think so. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think so. Um, as I was growing up, my mother was a very avid cook. She was a gardener. Um, we used to love gardening. Um, canning the vegetables, yeah. processing them for the winter months. We always grew up with a bunch of critters around the house too. Uh -huh. So we had beef critters, pork critters. Mm -hmm. I grew up drinking goat's milk until I was probably 16 or 17 when we yeah. got rid of the goats. That was before it was cool. It's like all the rage <laughs> yeah, now. Days. You were a Absolutely. trendsetter back then. Absolutely. But that's what really inspired me to cook was my mother's foundation, you know. And then uh, I actually started to, I wanted to be an architect. Uh -huh. um, but ended up deciding that the, the culinary business was what was for me. Mm -hmm. um, I had spent some interesting times um, throughout the years, or really with New England Culinary, um, taking me overseas. I spent some time at a Michelin-starred restaurant in mm -hmm. France. Nice. Um, very slave labor-like. <laughs> Yep, you got all those stars next to your name you, you, now. You, you, so. you, you, <laughs> a lot of hours in the kitchen working for nothing, but the learning experience yes. was amazing. So I think what you'll find here is a lot of that, you know, kind of French countryside cuisine ah. um, prepared with a New England y kind of twist to it, um, with a big emphasis on the local sort of meats and cheeses and produce in season. Mm -hmm. That makes a great plate, though, because everything is so fresh. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And your menu changes seasonally, which always keeps it fresh. We change the menu here four times of the year with the seasons. I mm -hmm. want to make sure I have a specific spring, summer, yeah. autumn, and winter menu so we can really highlight what is coming and going throughout the seasons. Mm -hmm. The palates are so different, too. You might want a bisque in the winter, but you might want more of a salad in the summertime. Absolutely. So I think change that's it up great. with the eating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The wintertime is going to be a little heavier foods, more yes. braised items, mm -hmm. um, you know, heartier roasted vegetable salads, if you will. In the yeah. summertime we're going to lighten that up and you know gone is the cream and butter based sauces for right. items and you know stock and vinegar reduction sauces mm -hmm. um, lighter salads and a whole lot more fish items yeah well as a local patron who comes frequently it's nice to always see the different changes you know you've got the old favorites on there but the specials always are very indicative of the season absolutely yeah. absolutely it's 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 a fun and go. What are some of your favorites on the menu right now? Oh, favorite items. I really enjoy, well, I really enjoy everything, mm -hmm. first and foremost, but I enjoy cooking with seafood. Um, I love um, scallops and shrimp. And we have a really neat scallop and shrimp dish um, mm -hmm. with a um, butternut squash and coconut milk risotto, oh, which is really different. Good. Yeah, mm. it's pretty good for pickled apples on the top oh, with a curry and apple sauce. So we have kind of this fusion thing going on. I'll say. From, uh, yeah, Asia meets New England. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, which is kind of fun. One of the things I've done here is, since I've got here is really kind of upgraded the desserts that we're offering as well. Now, being a pastry chef and a savory food chef are definitely two disciplines, but I yeah. have a few fun things in my bag of tricks. So we're bringing really nice homemade dessert items to the menu here. Yeah. Um, for all those folks who are gluten-free, I make an amazing um, gluten-free free or flourless chocolate cake. That, oh. um, it's kind of warm and gooey in the center yes. still and very rich with some fantastic chocolate. 
That sounds like a good choice, even if you're not gluten free. Some yeah. people order as an appetizer. Oh, yum. <laughs> really decadent. <laughs> well, great. Well, it's great. We've gotten a little taste of some of your um, inspirations and your influences, but there's nothing like coming here and tasting it for themselves. This is so, true. Yes. Yeah, so we invite everybody to come on in and taste some of your amazing food and experience the great service. You've got a great wait staff here. Thank you. Yes, so. we do. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons why I chose coming here was we're going to wrap a, an amazing package together for everybody Agreed. where you come in and you get an amazing plate of food with some amazing service and it really makes your experience here. It's a great night out. Yes, so good. Well, best wishes. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.